together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sing the alphabet song. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now this time, let's sing together. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z Now I know my ABCs Next time won't you sing with me? That was lovely! Hello, friend! It's so good to see you again. There is so much to do today. Mr. Goose, there's so much to do. I can't decide what to do. Maybe you can help me think of something to do. Have you picked the letter of the day yet? You know, I haven't. Shall we do that together? Let's check the letter board. Today's letter is J. J makes the sound J in jigsaw. J, J, jigsaw. Now you try. J, J, jigsaw. That's exactly right. Oh, I can do a jigsaw puzzle with Fox. Fox, let's do a jigsaw puzzle together. Here are more things that begin with J. Juice, j, j, juice, <laughs> jewel, j, j, jewel, jacket, j, j, jacket, jaguar, j, j. Jaguar. Jar. J, j, jar. Jellyfish. J, j, jellyfish. What letter do all these words start with? J! 
That's right. The letter J. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? I! What's this letter? J! What's this letter? L! What's this letter? T! Now let's do it fast! Everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say its name. Woo! The letter T. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter. J. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Let's make letters in the sky with clouds. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hedgehog, show us how. Okay. Great! I'll trace the next one. Hmm. J! Terrific tracing! Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try next. J. Oh. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> J. Ooh. You did it. Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? J. Exactly. Uppercase J. And what's this letter? J. That's right. Lowercase J. Nice job. Wow. Wow. Cool. Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. J. It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Little Ant's Big Plan. In this story, Little Ant gets an idea from a book he reads. Let's find out what it is. Let's begin. Little Ant's Big Plan. Written by Candace Dingwall. Illustrated by Stephen McKimmy. Designed by Telry Stoop. Little Ant loved to read. Little Ant was often teased. Ants don't read. Ants must feed. Ants collect the food they need. Little Ant would read all day. He'd read and read the day away. The other ants took what they found to store for winter underground. His mom and dad got really mad, and little ant felt really bad. 
In autumn, when the leaves fall down, the ants must keep food underground. The queen wants food to fill the store, so all the ants must work some more. Little ant begins to shout about a place he read about. A restaurant is what we need, a place where people go to feed. It says so in the books I read. The ants go marching one by one. They march into the setting sun. And little ant said, Hey, there's one! The ants go marching one by one, carrying a burger and a bun. When they return, the queen is glad. The stores are full. They cheer like mad. Ant gets hugs from mom and dad. His baby sister takes his hand. Now I think I understand. The way you love to read a book makes me want to take a look. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called London Bridge. And look what I have in my backpack. A ukulele. I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. OK, let's begin. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Now this time, we'll all sing together, OK? OK! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! London Bridge is falling down. Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again! <laughs> Hi, Fox! What are you doing? I'm making patterns! Oh, patterns? Goody! Um, what are patterns? They're designs that repeat. Look! Star, heart, star, heart, star, heart, star. What comes next? Uh, I'm not sure. A heart. Let's say the names of the shapes together. Star, heart, star, heart, star, heart, star, heart. Oh! I see the pattern. I hear it, too. Star heart. <laughs> right. Oh, can I help you make another pattern? Sure. Let's make another pattern with these same shapes. Heart, star, heart. Heart, star, heart. Heart, star. What comes next? Heart. <laughs> you got it! Let's say it together! Heart, star, heart! Heart, star, heart! Heart, star, heart! What's the pattern? Heart, star, heart! <laughs> That's it! Oh, can I make a pattern? Sure! My pattern is going to use shapes and colors.
Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star. Do you know what comes next? A green heart. That's it. All together. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Can I borrow your glue stick, please? I want to glue these down. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. Green heart, pink star, green heart. All done. Do you want to make another pattern? No, I want to go and tell Miss Panda. Miss Panda! Miss Panda! I made a pattern! <laughs> Bye, Hedgehog! See you later! Bye, friends. See you later, too. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the blue circles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is a circle. That's brown. We only want blue circles. Oh, right. I forgot. Here's a blue circle. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the green hearts. Okay. Here. Here. Here's one. And here. Splendid. Should I look for yellow diamonds now, Miss Panda? That's a good idea. Okay. Here. Here. And here. Great. And what's left? Two brown circles. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie. We've sorted all the shapes. Thank you so much, Monkey. What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could pretend these two brown circles are coconuts. Look! <laughs> you certainly could, Monkey. And you could use these green hearts to be tree leaves. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to move! Follow me! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. 
Let it out. Good. Listen. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Diddle, the cat. 